Today on another Apple Motion episode of Apple A Day, I'm going to show you how to ease in and ease out like a pro. You'll be able to make beautiful smooth movements like this. So let's get started. I've got some basic text added to a motion project in two separate layers. Note that I also changed the background to blue under the project settings. You can get to those settings by pressing Command J, where you can adjust the background color right here. So in these two layers, I've added some keyframes to move the text onto the screen. Both layers of text are going to come in from the top, and the interpolation for the keyframes is just using the default setting, which I believe is Ease Both. So if I click on these layers, you can see that the curve is very natural. You see it's easing in and easing out. Same with the second layer, ease in, ease out. The ease in and ease out represent a slight acceleration and deceleration. The timing is set so the animation takes exactly one second. And when I play this back, it looks okay, but I would rather it come in a little bit faster and take longer to decelerate. So let's play around with the Apple a day layer. I'm just gonna turn off the welcome to layer. So we have this one selected, we can see the timing curve. So in order to have it come in faster, Let's try using some of the built-in interpolation methods. I'll select this first keyframe, right-click on it, and change the interpolation to linear. And that puts it in a straight line. But we still want it to ease in at the end. So I will right-click on that and change the last keyframe to ease in. So now we have a straight line. So it's coming in at a constant speed here, and then it will decelerate at the very end. Let's see what that looks like. It's not bad, but I would really prefer a slower deceleration. Um, that's what I think will make it look a little bit more professional. So the only way to achieve that is to change the interpolation to Bezier, which will give us complete control over the curve. So go back into Apple a day and select the last keyframe and right click on it and change the interpolation to Bezier. And it gives me a point with a handle and it automatically changed the first keyframe to Bezier as well. So the trick to extending the deceleration time is to grab this handle and drag it all the way to the beginning while I'm holding the shift key down. Holding the shift key will constrain the movement to be on the horizontal axis only. So I can't move up or down. So I'm gonna drag this right towards the beginning of the timeline. Now you can see we have a much more gradual deceleration. We just need to fix this first keyframe because it's kind of coming in slow, speeding up and then slowing down again. And we don't want that. We want it to come in at kind of a constant rate. So I'm just going to grab this and move it to right about there so the curve looks pretty natural. So it's coming in fast and then slowing down. So if I play this back, it doesn't look too bad. However, the timing is still only one second. So I think if we add about 15 frames to that timing, it will help with the deceleration. So if I just grab the keyframe and drag it out to 115, which is right there. So now we've extended this so to one and a half seconds. Play that back again. That is much better. That's the look I was hoping for. The text flies in quickly, but takes a long time to slow down. So for practical purposes, the timing is really only one second. That last half second that we added is just to have smoother deceleration. So in other words, if you wanted your elements to be animated on screen, simply add 10 or 15 frames to that timing when you're using this deceleration technique. So let's apply this to the other text layer. So click on the welcome to layer, move this keyframe out to the one second and 15 frame position. Change the keyframe interpolation to Bezier. Grab the handle, holding the shift key down, drag that all the way to the beginning. Select the initial keyframe and adjust the curve so it kind of matches what we did for the Apple a day layer. Turn it back on so we can see it. If I play this back, now that looks pretty good. It's coming in fast and then slowing down gradually. I think it looks really good. However, if you do think it's coming in too fast, we can slow that down without really affecting the ending part of the animation. 
So to do that, we're just going to adjust the curve on the last keyframe. So I'm going to select that and how we have that handle going all the way to the first keyframe. I'm just going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to drag that into maybe, I don't know, seven frames in roughly right about there. And you can see that adjusted the slope. So it's coming in a lot more gradually. We also want to grab the first keyframe and adjust that curve. So it's a little more natural. So this curve is a little more shallow. Not as steep as it was initially. Like if we look at the welcome layer, you can see it was a lot steeper. So we'll do the same thing with the welcome layer. Pull this into right about there. Grab that first keyframe. Do kind of the same thing. Yeah, those look pretty close. All right. So we play this back and you can see it comes in slower. So that is a big difference from the initial animation. And here they are side by side. So that is how you can step up your game in Apple Motion and animate like a pro using keyframes with the interpolation set to Bezier. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks as always for watching. I'm John Martins and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.